hi guys welcome to my channel this is inky if you are new here i welcome you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so as i share sewing tutorials on this channel almost every week so today i will be making this ruffled dress you're seeing on the screen and it has two types of ruffles and the materials i used are tool organza material bridal satin fusible interfacing and i also use lining so here i take the measurement that i desire for the base as i told you that the brighter satin is what i use for the base and this is where i'm going to put all the ruffles so i'll go ahead and pleat all the ruffles on this base so i cut this out this length the length i use here is 60 inches for the baby so and um, here i will take the length of the tool so the tool in total I use 10 yards of tool and I use 6 yards of organza. So, and for, for the pleating, I'm going to measure 6 inches here and I'll cut it out. 6 inches. Then on the center of the 6 inches, I'm going to run a straight stitch to gather this tool. So, I'll cut it out as many as I can. I will cut it out like so so having done that i'll go ahead and cut the remaining i'll measure it six six inches whatever i measured at first is what i'm still going to measure here six inches i'll chalk it out and go ahead and cut it out make sure that the the cutting is very neat the edges are very neat while i'm cutting it out because I'm not going to do anything to the edges. So make sure while you are cutting out, it is very, very neat. So here, this is the organza material. So for the organza material, you're going to cut on fold. So I'll be folding it like so. Then after folding it, I will measure 6.5. The 0.5 there, because this will not be 6 inches. 0.5 is used for the sewing allowance. So I'll be cutting on fold 6.5. So if it's not on fold, that means I'll be cutting 13. So I hope you get that. By the time I fold it and I stitch it by half inch, it will, it will, it will be 6 inches. So it will be 6 inches by the time I, 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 I stitch it on fold. So I'll be cutting it on fold like so. I'll cut another one also, measure 6.5 and also cut it on fold like so. Before I go to my sewing machine to stitch it, I'm going to stitch this before I start pleating it on the base. So I'll, after I have cut this out, 6.5, make sure your hand is straight while you are cutting it. Then having done that, I'll go ahead to my sewing machine and then stitch by 0 0.5 inches so that what will remain for me will be six inches and it will be the same width as the tool i hope you get that so i'll go ahead and cut as many as i can so i told you i used six yards for this two so the two the design is like the two will be the organza will be at the center so I'm going to make a design of how I'm going to pleat it now. So I will be drag like I'm making a drawing. This is the center of the base. Make sure you fold it into two to locate your base, to locate the center. So at the center, mark your four cardinal points like a cross, like the mark of a cross. Then at the center, you start by half of an inch from the center, mark a circle half of an inch circle half of an inch away from the center mark your circle so that's what i'm trying to make i'm trying to make a circumference like a circle a circle that is uniform that's what i'm trying to make here so i measure from the center half of an inch round so that the circle will be uniform then having done that chalk it out and make sure it is clear so that's the first circle so measure the second circle also the distance must be half of an inch half of an inch 
So measure the third circle also. The distance must be half of an inch. So go on and on like that. So as I'm chalking it like so, that's how my ruffles will be on this base. So, but this base must, for you, for it to be able to hold the, the ruffles, you need to, you need to iron a fusible interfacing on it for support. So that will serve as a support. So be, uh, after you have done all this, you can go ahead and iron your fusible interfacing. The white, we call it in Nigeria, stay. So you can use the medium weight stay. Medium weight is okay. And you can also use the light weight also. So just iron it on it and make sure it's well, it's the gum part is the one that you placed on it and then it's well gummed. So I'll go ahead, the circle I'm inputting, the distance is half of an inch. Just go ahead and input the circle, half of an inch, with half of an inch spacing. So go ahead and do that. Then it will go to a, space, space, a stage that the circle, there, there won't be anyhow, there won't be a allowance for me to input the circle again. Then when I get to that stage, I'll just be inputting like hack so i will start the hack the hack also the hack will follow the circle and the hack must be so now i i, I the circle I, i'm true with the circle and there's no way to input the circle again because of the length of the material of the base so i needed to be inputting the hack now so the hack also will be of a um, half inch also so the half inch i will go ahead and input the half inch so because i'm familiar with it that's why i'm using i'm just chalking it because just note note it that the measurement must be accurate so go ahead and input the hack till i'm true with this side so i'll go ahead and input the hack like so input the hack so whatever i do to this side i'll do likewise to the other side so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and also share this video thanks so i'll go ahead and do this so the process will go on and on like that i'll do the other side also the hack i'll form the hack on the other side also till the hack has filled up all the space so you can see now that the hack has filled up the space and this is how it will be. This is how I'm going to pleat on the base. So I'll go ahead now and iron my stay. So this is the zipper allowance I'll be using. It has a zipper allowance because this is like the skirt that will be attached to the upper bodies of the dress. But in this tutorial, I'm only teaching you how to make the ruffles, not how to actually make the dress. I have videos on how to make and children dresses on my channel and that will be also that will be that will be in the description box if you love to watch one of those videos so i'll go ahead now and pleat like so the way i draw all this and the circle and the hack i'll do that but from the center on the center on this all the circles will be will be made of the organza material so that is the idea, the circle. You know, I have circles and half hack on that base. So this organza material has been stitched. I have folded it into two and I've stitched it and I iron it flat on that stitch line. I iron it in such a way that I divided it into two so that it, the 33 inches will be on the either sides of the stitch. So on that center, since I have ironed it flat after sewing it, you can see as I place my tape measure, I have six inches because it was six and a half that I measured on fold. So I'm going to run a straight stitch on the center. Since I have ironed it flat, I will run a straight stitch on the center and that stitch will be a loose stitch. That stitch will be a loose stitch because I'm going to pull it to gather it together before I pleat it on the base. And you are, this is my tool, but I have I've not started doing my tool now. So I needed to change this, the stitch to gather stitch, to gather stitch so that 
I'll be able to gather the, the stitch, the material after the stitching. So right now, I will just, I will not reverse my stitch. I must not lock my stitch. So I will just pull one out of those threads. I will just pull one out of those threads. I will go ahead and pull it. And as I pull it, I will note, you must note that it's gathering. The, the material is gathering. Then you continue to pull it like so till you have your desired result. So continue to pull. But why you are pulling it? Because this material is not really a lightweight material since I have folded it into two and it's getting more, more heavy. So more heavier. So I need to pull it gently. So pull it gently so that the thread will not cut because if the thread should cut, you will start all over again. You will need to remove all the thread and run another stitch. So you must be careful while you are pulling it, pull it carefully so that you won't be repeating the process. So I'm trying to, so you're going to, I'm trying to gather the material. So pull the thread and spread the, spread the gather, spread it uniformly. So I'm trying to spread it. As I'm gathering it, I'll be spreading it uniformly and I'll make sure it is well spread out so that the result will be very nice. So go ahead and do that. And having done that, this is what I have. You can see I just gather it not that much, but just little gathering is okay. You'll be able to get a nice result with that. You can see how I did this. So go ahead and spread it uniformly. Just make sure it's it's coffee a little. By the time you gather it, it will not be the material is not straight anymore. It's kind of wavy. So when you have achieved that result that it is wavy a little, then you can go ahead and place it on the base. You can see how it is. So it's different from the one I have not gathered. So you can see the difference between the two. Then go ahead and um, the ones you have gathered, place it on the base. So I'll go ahead now. So before you start pleating on the base, make sure you have ironed your stay under the stay to hold this material because this material is, is not that, uh, will not be able to carry the weight by the time you start pleating. So go ahead, start from the center circle. Then just do it gradually. So pleat it. You don't even need to, you don't need to pleat it on it again because you have gathered it's just stitch you are just going to stitch you are just going to stitch it so you can see that um, uh, on the center it is the center that we gather that i placed so i just i i folded it's like i folded it into two before i start um, placing it so by the time you it's in it's into two now so i have three inches for the for one for each of the sides so i hope you will understand what i'm saying because you know it's six inches the organza material is six inches so by the time i gather the center so it will be this from the center i have divided into two so it will be three inches right now so on that on fold i'm i'm placing it on the base on fold so go ahead and do that place it on the base on fold so go ahead and do that carefully. So this will be a little bit, a little, you must do it carefully because this is the starting point and it must be very, very close so that it will be neat while your one is looking at it from afar. It must be very close so that the base will not be showing at all. So I'll go ahead and stitch the same way I chalk the circles. So I'll just be turning it like so and be stitching it. I'm not gathering it anymore. I'm just stitching it, stitching what I have gathered. So I'm stitching it very, very close to the tip, to the tip of the, the tip, the tip of where I gathered. I'm very, I'm stitching it very close to the tip. 
very very close to the tip so go ahead if the gathering is not very okay you can still continue to gather even on the sewing machine so go ahead and do that so by the time i'm trying to form like a rose here so this rose i'm forming can be used for the sleeve you can you can use it for your skirt you can use it for your for, for your blouse so you can use it to make any design but it's this type of um, ruffles is usually used for sleeves so when you use it for your sleeve it's very very okay you can use it for a whole sleeve and it will be very very beautiful so go ahead and do i'm just trying to pleat it pleat it very close to the tip then having done this it's a very long process which you must do it carefully you must do it carefully and make sure it is very close to each other very close make sure it is on the lines that you chalk that you are pleating it so this is what i have done so far this is what i have done so far so i will go ahead it's a huge lot of work so i'll go ahead and continue the process i'll go ahead and continue the process so this is what i have done so far so the process will continue so if i notice that some places are not well gathered i can still adjust those areas you can see that's what i'm trying to do so you can see adjustment is allowed so i can still adjust those areas and then go ahead and continue the work So here I'm done with the circles, so you can see the rows, very very beautiful. So I will start the hack now. So for the hack I use the tool, and you can you can remember that the tool is six inches. So I'm going to run a straight stitch in in between. So uh, the on the half, so like you are folding the tool into half, you run a stitch in between the six inches that means 33 inches will be on either side so i'm going to place it on my sewing machine and go ahead and run a stitch at the center make sure it is the center you can use your tape measure to locate the center and run a straight stitch on the center to be able to divide it into 33 inches like the 
the the organza material that form the rose so i'm trying to gather it so my stitch is on the gather stitch so you can see it's gathering already so i'll go ahead after i have gathered all the two so i have cut out a lot of this um two so i'll gather it like so i'll go ahead and gather a lot of it and after i have gathered it i'll go ahead and place it on the hack i'll place it on the hack so i'll make sure they are very close to each other on what i have chopped is where i'll place it so i'll go ahead and do that so you can still gather it a little if the gathering is not enough for you as for me i can still go ahead and gather it if i want to gather it so if the machine gathering is not enough i can still go ahead and pull the thread and gather it so this is the way you can do the hand gathering so you can gather it with your and just one out of those thread make sure you did not lock the thread then just hold one and begin to to gather like so so having gathered it to the desired um, the to the desired length so i'll go ahead and place it on the base i'll go ahead and place it on the base and continue the same process that I used for the organza material. So you can go ahead and place it as you have gathered it, just place it on the base like so. So I have folded I I also folded this into two because you have already demarcated the half of it by a stitch that you run in between so just hold it on that stitch unfold it's already unfold by that stitch that stitch will mark it on that stitch will be a guide for you so fold it into two and begin to stitch unfold so as i stitch the rows at the middle unfold that's what i'm doing to this also but i'll make sure that the allowance is very very tiny more it must be very close to the tip it must be as if you are stitching on that um, st on the straight stitch that you run in between so make sure it is very very tiny very close to the tip of your of the thread that you run in between so go ahead and do that so i'm not going to cut i'll just go ahead and uh, pleat like so oh sorry i did not pleat it i only place it because i have gathered it already so no need to pleat so you just place it stitch it directly so that's what i'm doing so i'll go ahead and do the same process the same process that i use for the rose in the window is what i'm using right now so i'll do this gradually and carefully so the same thing i have done to this side i'm going to repeat the same process for the other side also so watch me as i do this
So here is the bag. The bag you can see. I told you that I have on fusible interfacing. You can see how the bag is. So that is why I told you that um, you must follow the chalking. So you can see how I follow the chalking. This is the back. This is how the back will look like. And this is the front. This is what how it is. You can see it is very, very beautiful. The ruffles art is the tool adds its own beauty and the organza has its own beauty. So we have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, and also share this video. So I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye.